Hey guys and welcome to Words at Scale. So this is a quick reaction video. Reacting to Jasper chat, almost announcing, I think it's doing better. It's a real life feature. And now when you go to Jasper chat, you can see this button here, which says include Google search data and we'll press it. Don't mind the error here or this suggestion box. It doesn't really impact the results. So let's first try to fetch something very recent. Let's go to Google Trends. And it seems like we've had a Lakers game. Okay. Kings versus Lakers one day ago. It was a 116 over 111 win. So let's just ask Jasper score. What was the score of Lakers versus Kings? Okay, and this gives you a nice paragraph. The Los Angeles Lakers and Sacramento Kings faced off on January 18th. So the score was this one here, which is accurate. And yeah, you not only do you get the answer, you get a nice paragraph with sources, uh, which is very nice, because more and more bloggers add sources to build reputation in the eyes of Google. And I actually tried something different and I'm not sure if it's a valid way to use Jasper chat. And what I tried was generate a list of long tail keywords about Bitcoin halving. Yeah. And this is what Jasper chat generated. What is, what is Bitcoin halving? How does Bitcoin halving work? When is the next Bitcoin halving? What are the implications of Bitcoin halving? What is the impact? What are the effects? And you get your sources as well. And yeah, sometimes it messes up the sources, meaning that out of the three links, one worked, the other two didn't, meaning that this is even better. But yeah, it wasn't announced officially yet, I don't think. Uh, but yeah, Jasper Chat can now rival the real life functionality of Chat Sonic, of Perplexity, of Write Cream. And this is a very nice addition. And just to remind you that Jasper Chat, while it's still in beta, doesn't spend any credits. You can uh, generate unlimited amount of outputs without spending any of the credits. So there you have it. Hope this was helpful and I'll see you next time.